Welcome to this section of the Physics Tutor where we're going to talk about something very, very important and that is the concept of kinetic energy and also we're going to talk about something called the work energy theorem. And in my opinion, this is when physics really starts to get interesting, when you start talking about energy because you can look around the world, roller coasters and all kinds of cool things and you can see how energy and work are really inter interplay with one another. So pay attention to this stuff, it's, it's very core material. Um, Everybody has their definition of what the word energy means. Think about it for yourself. You can pause the video. What do you think energy is? Most people think of energy as maybe a lightning bolt or, um, I don't know, something, somebody that's moving pretty quickly or something like that has energy, some vague notion. But when you really think about it, is, is energy electricity? Is energy, what is energy? Well, it's a tough nut to crack, really. But in physics, in, in, in classical motion, which is what we're studying here, uh, energy has a very specific definition, just like work had a very specific um, definition. So let's go ahead and talk about that now. Uh, very simply, we have this thing called kinetic energy, and I'm going to abbreviate that KE, okay? Kinetic energy. And it's a very simple equation, okay? And it's equal to one-half times m, which is the mass of the object, times the velocity squared, okay? So very simply, if you have some baseball or something, it has a certain mass, okay? That's the mass here, and you throw that baseball, and it has a certain velocity. And then all you do is you take the velocity square, it multiplied by the mass, multiplied by one half, you have what we call kinetic energy. Why does it have a one half in there? I don't know. It's the way the universe works, okay? Why is it m times v squared, not v cubed? Why is it m instead of m squared? I don't know the answer to these questions, but you can look at, at objects in the world and you can calculate the energy and you'll find that it's a very accurate representation of what the energy is and it's represented by this equation. It's called kinetic energy because it's just like coefficient of kinetic friction, it implies the energy of motion which will be different from other kinds of energy that we're going to study a little bit later on. Okay? So basically you can regard this as a, the equation as the energy something possesses when it moves. So a safe is going to have a, a larger mass than a ping pong ball, right? So even though both of them move at the same velocity, the safe is going to have a higher kinetic energy than the ping pong ball will, which kind of makes sense, okay? So the kinetic energy has units of, and this is going to probably blow your mind, joules, okay? Which is, if you remember, the same exact unit that work had, okay? So you might say, well, Aren't they different? Why do they have the same units? Okay, you're going to find out here in just a minute that work and energy are similar, okay? And they have the same units. So you'll find that the work has a unit of joule, the kinetic energy has a unit of joules, and in, in a little bit we're going to get to potential energy and it also has a unit of joules, okay? So there's lots of different things with the same unit and I'm going to try to explain to you why they're different. In order to do that, let's um, take a little thought experiment. I'm going to do this in a different color, just for kicks, okay? So let's say you have some box right here, okay? And let's say you push on this box with some force F, just like we had in the previous section there, okay? Sometime later, the box is obviously going to move over here to the right, okay? And again, you're still applying that force even though it's moved. You're applying that force throughout the whole thing. Now, initially, the box was at rest, so the velocity was zero, and then whenever you move it over here, it's going to eventually have some final velocity greater than zero. All this is saying is that initially the box was at rest, I push it, and then it has some velocity not equal to zero. This could be 10 meters per second or something. And also, obviously you're moving it through some distance.